Assalamu alaikum. We're making our mind imam more shiny and more knowledgeable so that we can practice our religion the way we should be. Today we're going to discuss how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam communicated Islam to Tufail bin Amr al dawsi Our master Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam communicated Islam to Tufail Amr bin al dawsi and recited some parts of the Quran al -Kilim. Tufail bin Amr al-Dawsi swore that he had not heard more beautiful words than these. At once, I said the kalimat al-Shahada and I became Muslim. At that moment, I said, O oh Rasulullah, I am an influential, important person among my people. None of them object to me. Let me go and invite them to the religion of Islam. Do, not, do pray so that Allah Ta'ala grants me a sign. Thus, that sign be an ease, a help for me while I invite my people to Islam. Upon this request of mine, our master, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, invoked, O oh, my Allah, create an ayat, a sign for him. After this event, I turned back to my town. During a dark night, when I arrived at the hill which is located against the headwater, where my tribe resides, a nur like a candle appeared on my forehead and started to give out light. Then I prayed by saying, O oh my Allah, cause this nerve to be conveyed to another part of my body, lest the ignorant ones of the Dolph's tribe assume it is a divine penalty given by Allah due to apostatizing when they see it on my forehead. Then that nerve immediately came to the end of my whip and was suspended there like a candle. When I was approaching the town of my tribe and started downhill, people attending there were showing each other the nur suspending like a candle at the end of my whip. In this circumstance, I walked downhill and reached home. My father came and saw me first. He embraced me out of his love. My father was very old. I said to him, O oh my father, if you remain in your current situation, Neither I am from you, nor you are from me. When my father heard this from me, he was astonished and asked, What is the reason of my son? As a response, I said, I became Muslim by embracing the religion of Muhammad Upon that, my father said, O oh my son, I embrace the religion which you embrace too. Let your religion be my religion too and became Muslim by saying the Kalim al-Shahadat. After this, I taught him what I knew about Islam. Then he took a bath and put on clean clothes. Later on, my wife came to me. I said to her the same things. She accepted and became Muslim too. In the morning, I went into the Dao's tribe. I informed all the tribe. I informed them of Islam. I invited them to Yet they were hesitant to accept it. Even they opposed it for a long time. They did not give up their sinful and evil deeds. They went further and made fun of me by mimicries. Because of their addiction to charging interest and gambling, they did not listen to me. They refrained from obeying Islam. They became disobedient to Allah Ta'ala and his messenger. After a while, I came to Mecca and complained to my, of my people to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I said, O oh, Rasulullah, Dawes tribe has become disobedient to Allah Ta'ala. They did not accept my invitation to embrace Islam. Do pray for them. Our beloved Prophet, whose tenderness and compassion for everyone was great, opened his hands, turning towards the Kaaba and invoked, O oh, my Rabb, Show the true path to the Daos tribe and bring them to the religion of Islam. He said to me, Return to your people. Continue to invite them to Islam with a smiling face and sweet tongue. 
behaved mildly towards them. I went to my homeland immediately. I never ceased at any time to invite the Dost people to the religion of Islam. Alaikum salam. Thank you.